This is Tony from Fantasy Quick Hits on wide receiver Terry McLaurin. Loved me some Terry McLaurin. Guy is a uh, is a top route runner, top end quickness. I think he's also among the league best as far as yards after the catch. What's amazing with McLaurin is so far he's produced with a hodgepodge at the quarterback position. Allen and Haskins, Smith, Heineke. Uh, this guy has still produced with Ryan Fitzpatrick, Ryan Fitzmagic as a new starting quarterback. Uh, this might be the last opportunity to get McLaurin while he hasn't quite hit full value yet. The passing game here in Washington will revolve around McLaurin and he is a blossoming superstar looking at 140 to 150 targets. Washington's offensive coordinator this year, Scott Turner, he runs what's called the Air Coriel. That's the scheme he runs, and that scheme really features a true number one wide receiver. And McLaurin is a legit number one wide receiver in a system that looks to treat him as such, creating a tremendous opportunity, a tremendous situation for McLaurin. So with Patrick, uh, Fitzpatrick behind center, look for him to have a really a tremendous season this year. Guy has missed three games over the past two seasons, maintains a very low fantasy risk. McLaurin, kid is 25 and will turn 26 shortly after the season starts. So he could just be entering into his prime years if you are looking at him for dynasty. Prior production, he is uh, consistently produced with low end quarterback play. So look for his targets and his touchdowns to increase, which is him now going into his third season. Ceiling is climbing as we approach the season with the potential for a high target volume. Again, touchdowns always a variable, but he's a good bet to finish, uh, you know, five to 10 touchdowns or more in 2021. He does have a high floor due to limited competition for quality targets. And listen, from all reports coming out of Early training camp, McLaurin and Fitzpatrick are developing a super strong connection. It's always difficult to predict chemistry until we see them on a the field together, but all signs for McLaurin are very, very positive. And one last good note, uh, McLaurin does have one of the easiest fantasy schedules for 2021.